You've got preschoolers. It's like your life is that Bill Murray movie Groundhog Day, where like it's the same day over and over again. And it, you know, it tends to make things seem very slow. And I remember when my kids were all under the age of six, there were ladies that were in my church and around my community who would try to encourage me. And they would say, Anita, treasure this time. <laughs> you need to treasure this time because it goes by so quickly. If you blink, you'll miss it. And I would go home and look at the ground up peas in the carpet and the spilled apple juice and the crayon all over the walls. And I would just think, it would be so okay with me if I missed a little bit of this. That would be great. But when my kids were little, I did have a secret weapon. I don't know if you guys know about this, but it's the Oreo cookie. It's sweet, dependable. It's like the perfect boyfriend, isn't it? These, these little, they're iconic. They're wonderful cookies. And I have no idea what this stuff is, the magical mystery cream between them. But I know that even if it was stuck between two pieces of carpet, I would eat that stuff. And I don't know exactly what it is, but I know that if you smash it into a DVD player or into the vents of your car, that it releases a quite pleasing aroma. I, I do know that. It's a, it's classic, but do you know that they're always trying to improve the Oreo? Have you looked on your grocer shelf? Uh, they have actually like coated it, double stuffed it, made it minty, they've dipped it, they've, I don't know what they've done to it, but you know what I would like for my money is if they inverted it and they would take the creamy stuff and put one little cookie between the magical slices. 